Well, Sue Bird wasn't a hard choice. She was the number one player coming out of college for sure. But Lynn Dunn had to work really hard to get Lauren Jackson a couple of trips to Australia to convince her to come to WNBA. And now they'll huddle, and that is Eric Bruton and Daryl Humphrey, our third official, is Lauren And the ball will stay with Seattle. Here's Phillips drive, shot clock at four, floats it up off the rim. And it's rebounded by Camille Little running the floor as Ashley Robinson who replaces Tangela Smith and now guards Katie Smith. Bird, her first shot is good from the top of the key. I mean, if that's not a perfect looking jump shot, it's pretty close. Same size. Catching's had a roll around the rim. Except for Sue Bird, she does not switch unless she gets stuck. And that's Bird for three, hits again. That's her second of the night. Sue Bird has six. She has 10 assists on 12 baskets. That's an excellent number. And Sue Bird has eight. 31, 25 to six feet. And Davenport, boy, won it, but it was tipped by Belinda Snell, who checks in for the first time. And now Bird looks inside, and they get a hoop to Ashley Robinson. Point fever lead at 44-27. Back in mid-June, when these teams play, Davenport had a career-high six block shots. And then the long dribble in the middle of the floor. I mean, if not for Sue Bird, Seattle might be down 30. You know, Aaron. Ball by right, rebounded by Phillips. Ahead now to Douglas, who caught it in traffic. Little handoff now to catching. She hit a three in the first half. Shot clock at six. Good defense here by Bird. And there's Phillips again. Offensive foul on Aaron Phillips. Good hustle by Phillips. She lost her balance and ran into the defender. Well, Sue Bird is going to say right here she thought she was fouled, but she was not in, from that angle. And then look at Phillips. Great rotation by Bird. She just has her head down, as you mentioned before. you got to keep your eyes up and see the floor. Help. Now Ashley Robinson finds Bird, who has a 13-point game. And here's a three by Bird, and Sue Bird has hit four of those. That's an in-your-face three-point shot. Think about winning at the high school level, level in New York, and here's Bird again, and it's another three from Sue Bird. She has 19. I was waiting for a little Rucker Park on that move right there. And I don't think that's what Lynn Dunn wants to see as Tanisha Wright comes back the other way. And mirrors what happened last Tuesday night a week ago when Indiana had a big lead here against Phoenix. Seattle's hit 8 of 22 from three-point range. Sue Bird tonight is 5 of 6. And now Indiana turns it over. Look how hard Nicole Willingham and Swing Cash are running the floor ahead of the basketball, trying to get ahead of the ball with Sue Bird. Good defense by Seattle. Now what Indiana does. Outside the arc, that's just her seventh two-point made basket. Here's Sue Bird, a wild shot, but she draws the foul. And you meant to mention it, it's almost a night where Sue Bird has felt, I have to put you guys on my back. She has 19 points. She's hit five three-point field goals. And if you take Bird off the floor, it's been a struggle tonight for Seattle. Well, I think you just saw an example right there why it's so critical to keep Sue Bird in front. If you let her wheel and deal, give her vision in the open floor. She still has great speed and smart decision-making and be able to make decisions at a high rate of speed. I mean, if you look at players in this league like Katie Smith, who's now 37 years old, you look at Sue Bird, and there's no reason to believe that she can't play until she's 37, 38 years old. Sue Bird, I mean, she looks as good now at 30 as she did when she was 22. 
something you're just not used to seeing out of Sue Bird and the Seattle Storm. 20 turnovers tonight, leading to 20 Indiana points. See, I think that's the thing.